Hello all, I'm Professor Dragan Illich from the School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine and welcome to this uh, video presentation in which we'll cover the essentials uh, relating to sensitivity and specificity. So here are the um, objectives for Module 3. Um, in this particular um, presentation, as I mentioned, we'll uh, focus in on sensitivity and specificity. Okay, so the thing to take out of, I guess, sensitivity and specificity um, is that both of these constructs relate to um, the, the diagnostic test that we're using. So if we're looking at um, the classic two by two table, um, what we're really interested in is, I guess, the accuracy of the test itself. So uh, sensitivity, looking at uh, the accuracy of the test in identi or in correctly identifying those that do have the disease and who test positive, uh, whereas specificity um, is uh, more focused on uh, correctly identifying those without the disease and ensuring that they test negative uh, to, to a particular test. So Going into it a little bit further with a couple of examples. Um, as I mentioned um, in the previous slide, sensitivity um, is focused on identifying um, how good the test is at correctly identifying those with um, the disease, or in other words, uh, the true positive. So in this particular example, we've got our two by two table. Um, we've got our um, disease present population here. Um, and so what we're trying to identify here with our specific test is in all these um, patients um, or all this sample of um, patients who do um, have the disease, how good is that, is that test at uh, correctly identifying those that uh, do have um, uh, the disease, so our true positives. So when we, we, when we go to calculating our sensitivity, um, it is A over A plus C, um, or our um, disease present um, population. So here we've got a, um, an example um, just with some hypothetical numbers uh, thrown in. Um, we've got our disease up here, um, either present um, or absent, uh, and we've got our test um, being positive or our test being negative here. So in this case, our sensitivity in order to work it out um, would be the true positive divided by the total number with the disease. So in this case, um, it's 90 divided by 100. So the sensitivity of our test is 90%. And obviously, uh, the higher the percentage, um, the better the test is. Um, in this case, the sensitivity being 90% accurate um, in, in terms of truly um, identifying the, the true positives um, within that population. Specificity um, is the flip side. Um, so specificity is looking at the test and how um, good it is at correctly identifying those without the disease. So correctly identifying true negatives. Um, so once again, if we've got our two by two table, in this case, what we're focusing on is these uh, group of individuals or a population that does not have the disease. Um, and what we're trying to identify is the true negative. Um, that is those that don't um, have the disease and test negative uh, to the particular diagnostic test. Um, and in, then in order to work out the specificity, um, it's our true negatives divided by the total number of people um, in which um, there is no disease. So again, using that um, same example with the hypothetical numbers, um, this time we're calculating specificity. So in this case, um, again, our disease, um, either yes, they do, or participants that don't have the disease, our test um, being positive or negative. So in this case, we're looking at specificity. So we're looking at our true negatives. So in this case, it's 150 divided by the total number of participants without the disease, so 200. So in this case, it's D minus um, 
uh, D plus B, or our total number of participants. Um, so it gives us a uh, specificity of 75%. So again, the higher the specificity, the better. So in this case, um, we're, we're saying that we're, um, uh, the test is, in terms of its accuracy, um, is 75% accurate in correctly um, identifying those that don't have the test, uh, sorry, those that don't have the disease uh, when they have a negative result. So that's a quick um, overview of uh, sensitivity and specificity. So like I said, the, the great thing about sensitivity and specificity is it refers um, to the accuracy of the test itself. So sensitivity and specificity of a test um, will always remain the same. What it doesn't tell you um, is the um, probability of someone having um, the disease or, or the outcome of interest if they do test positive or negative. Um, and that's where predictive values come into play. Um, and that's where we'll uh, talk about um, predictive values um, and their benefits and limitations um, in the next video. So as always, if you've got any questions or queries, please feel free to contact me on the uh, email address um, shown. Thank you.